Hello and welcome to another tech tip video by GSC. Today I'm going to talk about whole callouts, uh, specifically the whole callout tool, which on the SolidWorks help website, the whole callout tool adds driven diameter dimensions to holes created by the whole wizard or circular cut features. So here I have a very simple part that I'm just going to add a hole in using the whole wizard feature. For the whole type, I'm just going to select whole, standard, I'm going to leave it at ANSI inch and all drill sizes. Uh, for the type, for whole specifications, it's just going to be number 29, that's fine. Positions, I'm just going to place it anywhere. I'm going to go to the drawing for it. And here we're going to use the whole callout tool. Select my hole, and there's a, a lot of information here compared to if you were just to make a hole using the extruded cut feature, and that's because we use the hole wizard. Now, if I were to use smart dimension to dimension this hole, it would only give me one dimension. It wouldn't give me the depth of the hole or anything like that. This is why the hole callout tool is very helpful. Now, let's say if I wanted to add the drill size into this dimension, the way to do that is to click on the hole callout dimension click in after the symbol for the mod diam, click on call it variables, and the drill size is going to be in the description. So I'm just going to select description, click OK. There it is. As you can see, that was a pretty manual process, especially if you have multiple holes. You'd have to do that for each hole. So there is a way to do this automatically. Since the holes are just pulling information from the callout format file, we can actually just edit it since it's just a text file. To find the location of the callout format file, you go to your system options, file locations, under show folders for, we're going to go to whole callout format file. It should just be in this default location and unless you have multiple installations of SOLIDWORKS and this might be a little different. Okay, and I've navigated to that location using File Explorer. The first thing we're going to want to make sure is that we have permissions to edit this callout format .txt file and that's just right clicking properties and your security. This is me. So I do have full control. I'm able to modify it read, write, so you're just going to want to make sure you do have read and write permissions. So now that I have the callout format text file open, we're just going to scroll down to the type of hole that we want to edit. In our case, we just did ANSI inch plain holes. I'm going to put it in after I see the mod dash DIAM. I've already copied the description syntax from SOLIDWORKS, so now I just have to paste it in. I'm just doing a control V. Space. Looks like I already have some spaces here. It's fine. Okay. And the reason why I say we need read and write permissions, if I were to save this, it would ask me, it would actually be doing a save as, and then if I tried to save over this file, it would say, I don't have permission. And now we're actually going to restart SOLIDWORKS so that the changes go into effect. Okay, so I've restarted SOLIDWORKS and I already put in another hole using the whole wizard feature. It's this one right here. We're going to go to the drawing. And I'm going to use a whole call it tool and we'll see that the drill size is already in there. So I just wanted to go back to the call out format text file because you would have to do this to every single hole if you wanted the drill size to show up every single time. But if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there is some actual helpful information. At the very bottom, it shows all the variables and what each variable means, or the description of the variable. So this is just another place you can find these variables and what they mean in case you want to add them in into your whole callout using the whole callout tool from holes made from the whole wizard. Whereas any holes that are made 
using the cut feature or any circular features would not have this information because that's just defined by the geometry itself.